Hello everyone, my name is Kubelman and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a second login account for your Windows 10 machine. So basically if you're trying to say if you're trying to share your computer with somebody else or whether it be a family member or a friend or a guest, you can create a separate account that will be that would isolate your personal account that you use to log into Windows 10, isolated from being you know edited, deleted or anything like that. So basically once we create this, the second user or a second person that tries to use your computer will have their own settings for that computer and everything else that you have already set up is going to be separate and safe, right? So let's go ahead and do this. There are a couple of ways of getting to this option. First is if you uh, go ahead and click in the search box here, let me just close this out real quick. Um, you can either type in here and just type, uh, click in here where it's a search box and then just type in settings and then you hit enter or you can go back here type in settings and then you can just select this uh, button that says settings right and then from here it's going to open up our settings um, window if you will and from here we need to select accounts so right here on the right hand side we would select accounts from here we would select on family and other users so it's a fourth tab down from your account so you have your account uh, your account selected here and then you select family and other users right so let me backtrack real quick here so we can so it's you know easier to follow because this is for beginners right so let's go ahead and type in settings again okay and then just select settings here click on it and then on the right side here select accounts and then a fourth tab down where it says family and other users right and the, the reason I repeat myself a lot in my videos is because repetition is the best way to learn in my opinion right and it's I've been scientifically proven as well so that's why I usually do uh, same steps twice just to make sure that it's easier to follow easier to understand and that's kind of a theme of my channel right okay so from here if you want to add a family member and this is very simplified here um, it says if you want to add a family member, you would just click add family member here, and, you know, add, uh, click the plus sign, or if you want to add other users, you know, a guest, if you will, or a friend or something like that, you would click here. So let's go ahead and click add a family member, and then from here, it's actually pretty simple. Um, you have a couple of options here, it says add a child or add an adult. You know, if you click select add a child, you can see that here it says kids are safer online when they have their own account. So certain things are blocked, you know, certain things are prevented, you know, certain things are in place um, to basically allow for a safe use of your computer or even the internet, right? If you, if you want to try to add a child or you can just add an adult, right? And then the biggest difference is adding an adult will basically um, allow you to manage requests and change kids settings so basically sort of like an administrator account with more capability and the add a child is basically with limitations right so a standard account and certain online restrictions right so let's go ahead and add an adult right here it's ask you to enter your email address so basically it will be your microsoft uh, microsoft email address so if you don't have one you can select the person i want to add does not have an email address and if you select that it will take you to, uh, let me just show you real quick. It will take you into a simple creation of Microsoft account. But since I already have one, I'm just gonna click back, select add an adult again, and I'm just gonna type in the name of uh, Microsoft account. You have to type in a full name. So, and that's gonna be used as the login for this person, right? It uses your uh, Microsoft login information to, look for, to let this person log in. The biggest downside of this, you have to have internet connection, but it, it, it is the way it is. This is one way of doing this, okay? So click on next, and then you can um, select confirm, right? And this is gonna finalize it. And here it simply says that it sent an email to this address. Basically, they'll need to accept the invite, and basically they can you know start changing, make some changes, log into your computer, this and that, okay? So you go, after this, you would go to your email and then look for the confirmation email and then accept it. Okay. Okay. Now let's try our adding other users. So let's go ahead and select down here, add a other user. Let's see what happens. 
and here it gives you an option how will you let this person log in so they can use their email or phone number right to, to log in um, into this account so if you don't have this person's information you can select I don't have person sign information it's gonna go take you back to creating of Microsoft account now alternatively when creating a other user account you don't have to use a Microsoft account so basically uh, what that means is that it will just create a local profile for this computer okay so this person will be able to use their I mean, it can be changed later but this person will, will not be using their Microsoft account and I'll show you what the difference is a little bit later um, after I'm done with this part but in order to not use uh, Microsoft account you see here it's where it says add a user without a Microsoft account you would just select that so right down here um, you would select add a user without a Microsoft account so this is basically a standard local profile login for somebody so let's see here let's name it um, other user right let's just call it other user I'm gonna hit set up a password type it in twice type it in once type it in twice and then of course you would have to type in a hint and you can just you know whatever that might be I'm just gonna type in your hint right and then I'm just gonna click next here right so name of the user type in your password twice and then collect select next and this is going to create a what's it called a local account if you will, a local profile see how it says here other user local account now let me show you how it looks like once we once I log off and see different options now that we're at the login screen here so there's basically a few if your computer restarted right now we can see other um, accounts that we created here as you can see here this is the currently logged in account right here and it's highlighted if we want to use another user we can just select other user and then we would tap their password in so it, it, any uh, other accounts that you have created here already um, you will have you will see them here and this person that wants to use it would just select it and just type in their password so let's see what happens when we collect when we uh, when we uh, connect to it or log in if you will just gonna take a little bit here it may take a, a little bit here to create a local profile because every time you log into a local a new local profile it takes time to set up as you can see here now we're at the point where Windows 10 is setting up this new local profile for us and like I said earlier it just takes a little bit it creates some files uh, on the computer for uh, for this user to be able to use this computer properly have their own settings this and that and now everybody can enjoy their own personal settings when using this shared computer right so if you shared your laptop or your whatever else you know you can have your own personalized local profile you can change everything to it it's not gonna affect the other person and everybody's gonna be happy right I hope you guys like this video please share with family and friends and I look forward to more videos like this I appreciate you guys leave any feedback if you'd like click like dislike or you know leave a comment I, don't, I would love to hear from you guys okay I'll see you next time bye bye